How's everybody today? Pete here at Spawn Fly Fish and we are going to tie up a little variation on the bunny leech and we're going to include going to include a spawn polywog tail. We're going to have lots of movement on this fly. Fish love to eat this as a streamer and you all probably know some variation on this so we're going to have some fun and let's get at it. All right, so in the vise today, we have the A-Rex SA254. This is a size one for the bead. We've got the spawn football bead. This is silver, 7.5 millimeter. This thing's gonna have a little weight to it, and that's just what we are looking for. Let's get some non-lead thread or wire wraps, and this is a size 0.020. And not only does it add just a little weight, it's going to keep that bead in position where we want it. And if you've ever seen me play with this weighted wire, after I cut, I do like to roll those edges over so that they're nice and smooth. No wire is going to get, or no thread is going to get cut needlessly and cause a panic or any of that. So just push that into the back of the bead like so. And let's get our thread started. For our thread, we've got some 6 aught uni and this is chartreuse and we are going to be combining chartreuse and cream today for this little bunny leech variation and the reason being uh, pretty much anything like chartreuse but we are planning on targeting some smallmouth and this should get the job done all right so now for our tail you can see here we've got the spawn polywog tail and this is fluorescent chartreuse and i want to utilize a good portion of this tail uh, let's see maybe one hook length off so it's a, a full length body length here that we're going to use for this tail get it started on there and you can always give it just a little love of some super glue or even head cement this down to make it just even a little bit stronger. But these tails are very, very tough, durable. They take a beating, multiple, multiple fish per tail and, and it still goes. Like you, you won't have any issues with that. All right, and there we are. So now just to liven that color scheme up just a touch much like you would on, on a regular tail here, we're gonna put some flash on either side of that. And for today, we are using some Flashaboo, and this is glow in the dark uh, green. And so I'm going to, we've got five strands here. I'm gonna tie five in on my side, and then I'll come over to your side and do the same with five. And get all the way up, and then get one past. And then I can bring these over to your side and just simply repeat the steps, tie it back. And I'm going to cut these so that they match up with the length of the tail, much like these on, on my side. And ta-da, that's all that is. So now for our body, this is some cream color rabbit and it's cross cut. And if it looks a little wet and matted down, it is because I got my fingertips wet ran it the length of the strip and pulled out all the loose fibers that are sitting in there and then at the very tip there cut off the end that I don't like trim back some of those fibers and create that little bit of a, a crayon cut just to make tie in a little easier now when you're looking at this put this in my left hand if I were to put this in my hand the, the fiber should go toward my left thumb and when you tie this in, tie it with the leather facing upward so that as you begin to wrap, the leather will face the hook shank, allowing all that fur to flow off and out toward the rear of your fly. And that's why we use crosscut for this. Couple tie-ins there, once, once or twice back and forth, and then just get that out of your way. So now as we begin to wrap this, I do have some water here on my table and I usually do have water on the table when I'm tying and it's just for things like this so watch what will happen is I'm going to 
dip my hand in that water and get these fibers somewhat controlled. And now as I wrap this in touching wraps, letting the leather touch itself on every wrap, you see, I don't have to worry about it getting out of control and wisping around and loose fibers flying while I'm trying to tie. Just that little bit of moisture on your fingertips is all it takes. And at this point, I know I'm, I'm on my last wrap up here. And remember, this is a jig style fly. So even though I'm on the top, this is actually the bottom. And if you could pick a place for it to end, this would be ideal. So we've got one thread wrap, two thread wraps, and now I'll get one more right in that little V, get that rabbit pulled back, a couple securing red thread wraps in front of it, and now very carefully cut out that rabbit. Once you're here, go ahead, get your fingertips wet once more, and see you can get all these loose fibers from that cut out of the way, you exposed that leather a little bit better, and now we really make a strong tie down on that, that leather or hide. And then just because we don't, we don't like to do things a little bit, we like to go all the way. Let's add one more element. And this is fluorescent chartreuse. This is spay marabou from Nature Spirit. And as you can see at the very tip of that feather right there, I've cut all those fibers off, expose the stem or the quill, and that's my tie-in. And so for this, I'm gonna just be normal and tie the concave side facing the body, but we're only gonna take one or two wraps here, so we don't need a lot of marabou. Again, we don't wanna cover up the body, just accenting a little bit and giving that fish a little bit more chartreuse to look at, and of course, marabou in the water is outrageously alluring and we will take any of those triggers that we can get. Just tidy up my little tie in there and then I can finish wrapping those down and I'm ready to take just one or two turns here. Before I start wrapping, I'm just going to bring all those fibers back. But since we have water sitting here, let's see the practicality. Now if I get my fingertips wet and brushed back, Nothing's moving on me, nothing's flowing out to the front that I have to catch and, and worry about. I'm just gonna coax everything back and be, continue wrapping. So this will be wrap number two, and I think that's about all we need. Once this dries, uh, let's go one more here. And once this all dries, you'll see how much coverage there is. This is a significant amount of marabou, considering it's just a little collar. And there we go, one two and three thread wraps and then pull down get in front of those couple wraps and trim out that tag portion of our feather a couple loose fibers there get rid of them brush around as just a quick little check to make sure everything's in place and if it is let's finish tying this down and get ourselves some whip finishes one little short fiber there. There we go. Neat thread head or thread neck, if you will, since we have the bead on there. And then we are ready for some whip finishes. There's four wraps for the first whip finish. And we'll do four wraps for the second whip finish. And then we can cement this bad boy. Get that thread trimmed out. A little head cement on those thread wraps. And it's going to be just about time to go fishing. And again, this is a great pattern for bass species, but it's tough to find any species that will say no to a bunny leech, especially when it's got some chartreuse in it. You know, every, in the springtime, you get little chunks of flesh moving around in the river sometimes here and there even in the still water and fish know protein when they see it and get a couple of these brushed out and there you go so now you have the movement from the polywog tail you have the movement from the rabbit that's going to be breathing and moving in the water and on top of that you're going to have the marabou moving but you get this nice breakup of the pattern 
and everything is just deadly. And there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, please remember to hit like and subscribe. And let's get this wet for you real quickly now that the, the glue is pretty much dry. And then you can get a glimpse of your new favorite Bunny Leech streamer that you'll go out with this week and probably catch some fish. And I'll put it right back in there for you. There you can see it. Ooey gooey madness that is going to be putting fish in the net. And we will see you guys on the water.